with summer break right around the corner, it can be tough to keep the kids focused on schoolwork. Today, for our Carolina Dad segment, Dr. Craig Pullman is here with some tips that will help make sure your student stays ahead of the game and on task until the end of the semester. Dr. Pullman is the author of the book, How Can My Kids Succeed in School? Good morning to you, Dr. Pullman. Good morning, Derek. Well, let's start with some of those outside factors. We have those, the, the weather gets warmer, the pool opens up, kids know that the break is coming. Is that uh, one of the factors when it comes to them kind of losing focus. Right, it, we're sort of in that pre-summer zone right now, and those activities are starting to creep into kids' lives. Even at school, there are more, um, there are more field trips, there are more um, you know, events at school, all, you know, festivals on the weekends, a lot of stuff going on that are kind of giving kids a taste of summer, but they have to buckle down and power through to the end. And you say it varies really based on the age of the children, how you try to keep them on task. So what are your recommendations there? Well, for the older kids, high school kids, the focus demands are really heavy outside of school. They have got to study for exams. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, elementary grade kids are not studying for finals like the, like the older kids are. But those older kids, you have to structure their time. You have to eliminate distractions. I mean, things that seem obvious, they can't study with cell phones. They can't have the computer on with Facebook up and Twitter and all the other social media distractions. Uh, a lot of times, it's not great to study in a room, in their own bedroom. They've got to be in a, a designated study office or a space and eliminate all those other distractions so that when they go there, they can really focus on their work. What about for younger kids? Because they seem to be the ones that kind of struggle a lot uh, just in general with their focus. I mean, is that something where you need to be a, a lot of contact with the teachers with the younger ones? Oh, absolutely. And, you know, incentives do work. You can provide positive reinforcement for staying focused. And for the little kids, a lot of times I like to suggest that they get an attention buddy or a focus buddy. Everyone in the class could be paired up with someone else and they listen in tandem for instructions and then they, they support each other or they help each other get organized at the beginning of an activity or they make sure they're packing up the right stuff at the end of the day. What if we see a trend where our child starts off the school year, the first half, doing very, very well, and then you start to see in the second half that they always seem to fall off. Is that at the point where you start to, you have to really start to kind of delve deeper? You might. I mean, there could be some extra demands academically that are straining attention towards the end of the school year, but you may just need to be proactive and have some of these other supports around, have an incentive system, a reward system in place, so that when you hit that stretch run, you're prepared. What do you see at Southeast Psych as being the most common issue when it comes to that lack of focus with patients? Well, a big part is organization. I mean, we hear all the time that kids are disorganized, and there are different reasons a kid can be disorganized. It could be because they're disorganized with their space, with their material, stuff's all over the place. They could be disorganized with, in terms of time, not scheduling their work, not backward planning. We hear this story a lot. There's a project due on the 21st, and the night of the 20th, the parent hears yes, about it for the first it, yep. time. Right, so you pull an all-nighter. So you, you, especially the older kids, they have to learn how to take that project and, and plan backward what needs to be done by the 14th and then the 7th so that they're, they're doing it at an even pace. And you've got more information that can help parents with this on your website, correct? Absolutely. A lot of, a lot of blogs, a lot of information there. All right, we'll link it up on our web channel, foxcharlotte.com. Dr. Craig Pullman, we appreciate the time.